Now we're gonna go to 4v4 inside this middle area. 4v4 in here. Yeah, in this bit, so it's gonna be super tight. What I'm gonna say is, so if Will breaks over into there, Will, after we'll say three passes, and we play Will, and stop there. Will can't score, but he's gotta hold it up until someone else can do what? Can get in and then we can try and go and score. Can a recovering defender go back in? Yeah, why not? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, only one for now? We'll say only one. So if Will breaks into there and we play Will, Will Bateman might get back in, but then I've got to try and be in here, and then we'll have 2v1 to try and score. Same going that way as well. Can you work it forward? Yes, Mark, yes, Mark. Good, you need support, you need support. No, 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 it's not whether he's in there or not. Have a listen. Why are we doing this exercise for? Think about the exercise, think about what we've just done. The combination play, we want to get runners into here to do what? Combine width and depth, then we want to look to score. So do you understand, Hilsey? It's not whether I'm just in there. Off the first ball that's into you, you can't score. Ready, play from you, Will? Go on, play from you. Good. Oh. Play on, play on. Yep, play from a wood. Stretch it, Hillsy. Stretch it, stretch it. Stretch it, make it bigger. Oh, come on, greens. Play on, blues have still got it. Play on, play on, play on. Clever finish. So, I mean, the whole session, it starts off very small and very tight, but opens out and gets bigger and bigger until it goes into a small side of game. We feel that if, there, if there's a good progression amongst the players and the practices, then it's, it's easier for the players to put that in, into game-like practices, which is the best way for them to learn.